Getting first place in Fortnite Battle Royale is a difficult but rewarding accomplishment. To be the last one standing, you'll need to have a better understanding of the shooting mechanics. Here are 7 tips to help you maximize your aiming skills. Jumping around and making yourself a moving target makes it harder for an enemy to land a shot, but it also greatly limits your own aim. When using a medium range weapon like the assault rifle, crouch to steady your own movement and focus in on your target. Bloom is a very real mechanic in Fortnite combat. Bullets fired from your weapon can land anywhere within the inside circle of your crosshair. Understanding that the size of your crosshair changes depending on what you're doing is vital during combat. Jumping makes the crosshair larger and harder to hit your enemies, while standing still and aiming in shrinks the crosshair considerably. Every time you fire your weapon, the bloom of the crosshair will expand, so shoot in controlled bursts rather than holding down fire. We all want to line up and land headshots. But sometimes, we need to try a different strategy. Because Fortnite is such a fast-paced game, it may be better to aim for the center of the body instead of the head when your opponent is further away. You won't get the damage multiplier for a headshot, but getting a guaranteed body hit is always more beneficial. The great thing about Fortnite is there are so many different combat opportunities. In close range situations, such as running through a house or infiltrating a fort, pulling out a shotgun is smarter than just running in with a rifle out. In 1v1 situations, you can spend your time jumping around to make it harder for your enemy to hit you, or you can stand still and try landing your shots to eliminate your opponent as quickly as possible. When you're in a fight and start getting hit by a different opponent, make sure to build around yourself and then push to one opponent. If you don't commit to fighting just one player, you'll inevitably become pinched in an unfair fight. Whenever you get the chance, try finding an object like a street sign, and try to keep your crosshair on it as you move and jump around. When you're in the lobby, spend that time aiming at moving players. Aiming and target acquisition eventually comes down to muscle memory, and can only be developed with repetition. Landing in populated areas to engage many players is also a great tip. Even though you die multiple times at tilted towers, it will get you prepared to fight in fast-paced combat situations. Snipers can be deadly and being able to land headshots is a very valuable skill. From about 50 yards away, aiming right for the head on a stationary target should do the trick. Once you reach 100 yards and further, you'll have to account for bullet drop. The best way to practice this is to just find a sniper rifle and get a feel for how high you have to aim up to compensate for the bullet drop. Your gun overlooks your right shoulder and there is currently no way to switch to the left. With this in mind, always try to fight with the left side of your body covered. If you peek out of cover from the left side of a structure, you'll have to expose your entire body in order to fight. For everything on Fortnite Battle Royale, including tips on Season 3 and the weekly challenges, keep it right here on IGN.